Hello everybody, Springfield Liz here and I'm back with another leather review. This time we're taking a look at the Thin Front Pocket Backpack. Here it is. New dark coffee brown color. And uh, I haven't used this bag yet. I just got it like two days ago, but everybody wanted to see this. Dimensions, 16 inches high, 12 inches wide, and four and a half inches deep. Now they do have a regular sized uh, front pocket backpack, but it's much larger. Gorgeous. Uh, this is not your typical dark coffee brown that they've had for years. This is actually a little bit lighter, um, and when you break it in, it turns into like a chocolate color. It's just gorgeous. It's they have it in three other colors, uh, tobacco, chestnut, and black. Well, you have your two straps here. They also come with um, uh, shoulder pads if you want to use them. You just unbuckle the bottom here and slide them on. I think I'm not gonna use them this time. This bag's light enough that I don't need the extra padding but that might change. But for now, I'm not gonna use them, uh, but they are adjustable. You have three external pockets, one in the front and two on either side. And to get into the main pocket here, you must unbuckle the main strap. So I get a lot of questions, and the number one thing right now is can you use this as an EDC? Yes. And I'm also gonna show you how I pack for a weekend trip. First, let's look inside the bag. If I have enough light here, it's just, just one big open compartment. There are no pockets inside. Uh, the pockets are outside. Now remember, these are sewn on separate, so you have pockets behind them. But when this bag is full, it pushes out the leather, so it's a little bit harder to get something back in here. So a cell phone or something like that will fit no problem but something really bulky, it won't fit. Does a water bottle fit in this bag and on the side pockets? I'm gonna show you. This is a 16.9 ounce water bottle. It will fit. Haha. -ha. You have a utility strap for a cinch. I actually have a, a tobacco colored one. So I'm gonna take this one off uh, so I can just change it up a little bit and have some tobacco on this bag. <laughs> you have pigskin lining on the back of the bag, not on the inside, uh, inside front. Uh, that's just your suede from the leather. But this is the soft, fuzzy um, pigskin on the back. I love it. It feels really nice. It goes all the way down spine of the bag. Looking at the back of the bag, you have a piece of neoprene. Uh, it gives you a little support, some padding, um, but eventually as you wear this bag for a long period of time and it breaks in, it'll start to bow a little bit and really just conform to your back. But it uh, has your saddleback shield right here. And that's the new logo. Nice grab handle. Here's the bottom. Now with these straps being all floppy, what I'll do is probably tuck them back under like that. Again, this is brand new. You're just gonna have to work it a little bit. There we go. Let's pack it up and show you what I can fit in here. I'm a big fan of packing cubes. I have a pair of jeans in here, um, pajamas, and two sets of undergarments. And that's gonna go right in there. All right, and then in here I have a sweater top and uh, another shirt. Yeah, and that one, it's in a foldable pack. Just keeps uh, the shirts looking nicer. Um, what else? I have shoes. Alright, that's what it looks like. So this is two days worth clothes in here. 
Now I have a toiletries, little pouch, um, has some medicine, toothbrush, uh, toothpaste, that sort of stuff in there. So it's a little snug. <clears throat> there we go. But I got it in. This will stretch. Not too worried about that. And then we'll cinch this up. Make it nice and tight. Tuck that in there like that. That's enough for a weekend trip. Um, obviously, I'll bring a purse with me and carry a little bit more in there. Um, that's it. Not too bad. I can put some other things in here. Um, let me put the water bottle in there and see how it works. All right, so I got a water bottle in there. What else can I put? Um, you know what? I'm going to put some cables. So on the other side, I have a Sea to Summit pouch. They come in a three pack. Uh, this has my charger for my cell phone and my AirPods in here. And that'll just fit right down there. I like to leave this hanging out. It's just easier to pull it out. Dave had a really good idea with passports. And I have a very large family. Uh, there's six of us. So I used one of these um, pouches that came with one of the wallets and put six passports in here and it works great. So I'm going on a cruise and I needed something to hold all our passports. Um, and this will go in the front. Great. All right, let's load up some EDC items. I'm going to leave the Sea to Summit uh, pouch in there because it has my charger. I also have the water bottle in there. Um, I have, what is this, 11 inch air. So we'll put that one in there. I have a medium notepad from Saddleback Leather, a legal size file. I don't have my makeup bag on me right now, but I'll put this Max Position um, bag in there. And then I also have another one. And we'll put that in the front. We'll just close it up. All right, let's try this on. Oh, by the way, if you have long hair and you're wearing these backpacks, your hair will get caught in the straps. So yeah, it's it's not heavy. It just is so close to my back. It doesn't hang um, like some of the other backpacks. All right, size comparison. So I'm going on a cruise. I'm taking my small water bag. I'm a huge fan of the water bags. Um, I have them in every size. Uh, this is the small. I want to show you something. It's pretty cool. Uh, this tassel here. This was made, handmade, by Stella Munson. And as the daughter of Dave and Suzette, who own Saddleback Leather, uh, she started this little company selling um, handmade goods and jewelry and also her really fabulous candles. I recommend those. Those are really cool. I think they're going to be available during the Christmas season here. Now I chose this color this was and I got to choose the hardware so it matches my bag pretty nice. Um, so she has a Facebook page. I will link it below. Uh, she does this to raise money for two children that she sponsors in Africa. So definitely check out her page and buy some products to help her out.